Good morning, everyone. This is Julie McDonald with Microcom Technologies, and I'd like to thank all of you for attending today's webinar with GrandStream. Today's host is Phil Bowers, and he'll be presenting today. If anyone has any questions, please feel free to submit them in the question box, and Phil will answer them at the end of today's presentation. Phil, that's it for me. Thank you so much for being here today, and the floor is now yours. No problem at all. Glad to be here. And good morning, everybody. Thanks for uh, being with us here today uh, for this webinar. Uh, my name is Phil Bowers. I am the Senior Marketing Manager here at Grandstream. Um, basically, the point of today's webinar is to just kind of to bring you up to speed on, on some of our newer products over the last uh, five, six months. We have uh, released actually quite a bit of products, uh, some really some great new IP phones as well as some ATAs, new um, IP PBX appliance and some new deck phones. And I'll tell you about those as we go. Um, webinar should probably run in the 20 to 30 minute range. And then, um, as, as was mentioned, we will do a question and answer period at the end. Um, so let's get started here. Um, so for those of you that might not be familiar with Grandstream or might be new to us, I always like to kind of you know, give a little background on Grandstream. Uh, so we were founded in 2002. We were actually one of the original SIP manufacturers. We started uh, back in 2002 making uh, analog telephone adapters and one-line IP phones. And now about 15 years later, you know, we have grown into uh, one of the biggest um, IP manufacturers in the world. Um, obviously, we're really best known for our IP phones but we've really established a full solution of um, SIP communications technologies and, um, excuse me, and endpoints. Um, one of the few manufacturers in the world where you can install an entire solution for a business, a residence, or similar, um, an entire SIP unified communication solution, um, all under the Grandstream brand. We have uh, over 50 products in our portfolio now, um, consists of, you know, we talked about IP phones, um, we also are, uh, we do a lot on the video conferencing side of things, hardware and software, um, audio conference phones, IP PBXs, analog telephone adapters. I, we uh, also have a full line of IP video surveillance cameras, encoders, decoders, NVRs, et cetera. Um, we are headquartered uh, here in Boston, Massachusetts, which is where I am talking to you from today. Our global headquarters is here in Boston. Um, we're actually, for those of you that might know Boston pretty well, we are right down the street, about a block away from Fenway Park. So if you're ever in the area, stop by and see us at 126 Brookline uh, Avenue. Uh, we, as you can see on the screen, we have a variety of other offices in, in, you know, internationally as well as two other ones in the United States. Uh, these offices are going to be a mix of uh, warehouses and local support centers. So one of the things that we're proud of is that we're able to offer um, local support in your local language, in your local time zone, no matter where you are in the world. Um, I know most of you are probably out on the West Coast. Um, LA is one of our main uh, support centers in the United States. It's also our, our warehouse for, the, um, for North America. Um, so yeah, a little bit of background on Grandstream uh, for those of you that might not be familiar with us. Um, so to get into the meat of the webinar, um, six products that are going to be covering, with an emphasis on the two that you see here on the screen, um, the GXP2170 and GXP2135. These are two new, I, or well, I guess they're, they're relatively new still. Uh, we launched them back in the beginning of the year. Um, as you can see, just kind of taking a quick look at them, if you're familiar with other Grandstream products, it's kind of got a, a really sleek new look and design to them. Uh, I'll tell you about some of the other great features of these two phones, other than the look, uh, the main thing being that they, they also now offer the digital BLF speed dial keys, which these are actually the first two Grandstream phones to offer those. Uh, so I'll go into more detail on those uh, coming up, and the other four products we're going to talk about towards the end of the webinar um, are the four that you see here on the screen, our new UCM 6200 series IP PBX appliance. Uh, excuse me, our HT802 analog telephone adapter, which is the new, beginning the new series of analog telephone adapters from Grandstream, our new decked IP phones, which has been out since just about June or July, and our GXP1615, which frankly is just a really simple, basic one-line IP phone with PoE in it. All right, so let's actually go through um, those products now. So we're going to go back and start with, uh, here, I'll bring the pictures back up. We're going to start with these two devices that you see here on the screen, the 2170 on the left and the 2135 on the right. 
So aside from, as you can see, just taking a look at them, they really have a sleek new design, very new, not a new design, but an updated design for Grandstream IP phones, um, you know, basically with the shiny glass black faceplate around the screen of the camera, just adds a, you know, a shiny, great look on, um, on any desktop, really attractive look to it. Um, and then as we mentioned, one of the best things about these IP phones, aside from the fact that they actually also offer more line support than any of our other phones, which we'll get into, um, one of the great things about these devices, the 2170 and the 2135, is what you see here on the screen, the digitally pro programmable BLF speed dial keys. Um, give you a little bit of background, this is something that we has been, you know, for, for a year or so has been requested by many of our resellers, many of our distributors, um, and it's something that we're now proud to, you know, say we took that feedback and we, we developed phones to meet those needs. These are the first Grandstream phones that have digital BLF speed dial keys built onto the screen of the phone. Obviously, we have other phones that will either have their own BLF or speed dial keys just built right onto it. Um, hard keys or our GXB2200 extension module. Whereas here with these phones, they actually give you the ability to uh, use your screen of the phone, the screen of the phone, um, to create these digital BLF speed dial keys. Uh, the 2170, as you can see on the, the screenshot, just so you know, on this slide is of the 2170. So the 2170 is able to offer you 48 total digital BLF speed dial keys, and you can see from the picture, you know, um, from anyone that's used this feature before, I'm sure is familiar with it. If it's green, the you know the line's not in use. If it's red, the line's in use, and obviously it also serves as speed dial keys. Um, so the 2170 will give you four pages with 12 contacts per page, like you see here in these screenshots, and the 2135 will offer you a total of 32 digital BLF speed dial keys um, with eight pages, um, excuse me, four pages with eight contacts on each page. So rather than what you see here, it would be four on each side rather than six for the 2170. So notable thing to mention there, the 2170 and the 2135 are the first Grandstream phones to feature this, uh, to offer the digital BLF speed dial functionality. And it's always good to mention that the 2170 specifically also supports our 22 GXP 2200 extension module, which gives you, it supports up to four of those. Um, so basically, if you were to do the math between the digital BLF speed dial keys on the device itself and the ability to use up to four extension modules with it, that is a total of 208 digital or 208 BLF speed dial contacts on this device, on the 2170 between the extension module and the screen, and obviously the 2130, um, not compatible, 2135, excuse me, not compatible with the extension module, but does give you the 32 BLF speed dial keys. All right, um, move on to the next slide here. So to go more specifically into, into the specific specifications of these models, see the GXB2170 here on your screen, um, this phone offers up to support for up to 12 lines, whereas previously our phones actually maxed out at six lines before this phone came out, the 2160, which offered six lines, six zip accounts, um, was the most line support we offered. Now with the 2170, we can support all the way up to 12 lines. You see the 12, the 12 total line keys, six on each side of the screen there, and support for six zip accounts. Um, it's got the full color screen operating system that's featured on the rest of our GXP IP phones. Um, I believe these guys actually use the exact, pretty much the same firmware versions as our other GXP phones. So if you're used to using those and updating those and, and you know, configuring those for firmware upgrades, this is pretty much going to be exactly the same process and I believe the same firmware. Um, so just like uh, most of the other, actually all the other GXP IP phones, uh, the 2170 and the 2135, as I'll tell you about, offers integrated Bluetooth. Uh, the, it's, you know, we're frankly one of the few manufacturers I've seen that integrates Bluetooth into most of their IP phones. Um, a lot of manufacturers, and I think I have a slide on this later, but it, it's good to mention now. A lot of other manufacturers you'll hear when they say that their phones have Bluetooth, they are mainly usually only talking about support for Bluetooth headsets. Our GXP phones are, G, and actually also our GXP 3240, 3275, the Android IP phones, um, are able to offer Bluetooth to be paired with Bluetooth headsets also, and even you know above and beyond Bluetooth headsets, 
can be paired and synced with any other Bluetooth device. So the example, uh, you know, such as a tablet or a smartphone. So the example I'll give is I have a 2170 actually sitting on my desk and I have my iPhone paired with it. And, and what that allows it to do is anytime I get a call on my uh, Grandstream phone, it'll ring my iPhone also. Anytime I get a phone call on my iPhone, it'll ring my Grandstream phone also. And I can basically decide where to pick up the call. I can then transfer calls back and forth through Bluetooth. The other great thing with Bluetooth is it allows you to sync um, contacts, calendars, etc., cetera, um, from your uh, mobile phone to your Grandstream GXP IP phone. USB, EH, or USB slot, EHS support for Plantronics headsets. Um, we mentioned that the 12 line, six tip accounts support for up to five way conferencing. Um, dual gigabit network ports, a built in PoE, which frankly is standard across all of our GXP IP phone models. And we talked about the, the digital DLS speed dial keys and the extension module. Um, on a couple of these slides, you'll see in the bottom right hand corner, Broadsoft and MetaSwitch with pending next to them. Um, I always like to kind of give a little bit of an explanation for that. Um, so it's not that, you know, basically we, you know, our, our devices are open source SIP and we go out and we proactively test them with pretty much every major um, soft switch provider, PBX manufacturer, you know, ITSP, uh, et cetera. Um, Broadsoft and Metaswitch we find to be, to our customer base, the two most popular soft switch vendors, um, especially for ITSPs. And so that's why we include Broadsoft and Metaswitch logos on these slides. We obviously will work with pretty much any SIP platform. We just like to highlight Broadsoft and Metaswitch, which is why you see them here on the screen. And the certification on both of those platforms for these, these two new IP phones, the 2170 and the 2135, uh, should be wrapped up actually within the next couple of weeks. All right, so. Um, just to kind of, you know, give you a closer look at it, um, you see basically, though it has a little bit of a different look, it has pretty much the same key functions, key placement, key icons as our other GXP IP phones. You got the six um, line keys on each side of the screen, and then you got your function keys down there, which also served as soft keys, the five keys below the screen. Um, and then you've got your standard, um, your standard dial pad and the, the feature or the uh, function buttons down there in the lower right. Um, talked about the GXP2200 extension module that is compatible with our GXP2170. Again, not with the 2135, with the 2170. Um, anything else that we didn't talk about here? Integrated PoE, the USB port, um, which allows you to just you know add data, take data off the device. Um, another maybe silly use of it, but I use it every day. I charge my iPhone or any, I, you know, any, any device that can be charged with the USB port can also uh, be charged with the USB port on this, but we obviously put it on there for, you know, to allow you to customize the background, put pictures or, or co upload contacts, download contacts, whatnot. Talked about EHS support with Plantronics headsets. All of our GXP IP phones will have that EHS support with Plantronics headsets, which if you're not familiar with that, um, electro EHS is electronic hook switch. It just allows you to basically wirelessly um, use a, headset, a, a Plantronics EHS compatible headset with Grandstream phones. Um, and what that does is basically allow you to uh, answer calls, end calls, whatnot, just by pressing a button on the headset. You don't have to actually interact with the phone. Um, one thing I'd like to mention is, you know, we, we say EHS with Plantronics headsets. We support pretty much any, the majority of the headsets that you could use out there. Uh, we're in the final stages of testing with Sennheiser, and you'll see, see a pretty big announcement there coming soon. Um, obviously, also, all of our phones offer the RJ9 headset jack option. All right, so that was a 2170. Uh, now we move on to the 2135, which is just a, a little, um, you know, it, it fits in right between our GXB 2130 and GXB 2140, and the, in terms that it offers four SIP accounts. Um, again, this this guy actually offers you up to eight line, up to excuse me, up to eight lines. So it gives you, um, you know, as I mentioned earlier, previously we maxed out uh, Grandstream phones at six lines. Now we have the 2170, which offers you 12 lines, and the 2135 here that offers you eight lines. Um, and this phone eight lines with four different SIP accounts, uh, full color screen operating system. The uh, same Bluetooth features, USB and PoE as the 2170 and all of our other GXP models. Uh, so hopefully you're kind of seeing that there's, you know, really a, a, a comprehensive high-end feature set that is shared by a lot of our GXP 
models or GXP2100 series models. Um, and what differentiates these models is line supports, the uh, ability to support extension modules, a little bit of a design difference um, as well. And we talked about the 32 digitally programmable BLF speed dial keys um, on the screen of the phone. Again, you see the four line keys on each side. So a total of eight contacts per page, total of four pages. And then you've got, as you see here, the four soft keys right below the screen. Um, and pretty much if, if you've used or seen our 2130, this guy actually has pretty much, I, I believe, the exact same keypad placement function buttons as the 2130, just with a little bit of a sleeker look, the ability to support up to eight lines, up the ability to support an extra SIP account. Um, same thing here pretty much as the 2170, so we can probably fly through this. Um, you know, PoE, the dual gigabit network ports, again, gigabit network ports are standard on our GXP2100 series line. EHS with Plantronics headset, the RJ9 headset jack, and the USB port. Um, so just to kind of wrap up on these phones, most of this I, we pretty much talked about already. In terms of headset compatibility, um, you know, you've got a couple of, di couple of great options here. Obviously, they're Bluetooth, so you can use uh, wireless Bluetooth headsets. Uh, we talked about the EHS Plantronics headsets. Obviously, it's also RJ9 headset jack, so it'll interact with any RJ9 headset jack as well. Um, in terms of the Bluetooth features, I actually went through this already, but this is just a good uh, visual to go along with that. As I mentioned, most other manufacturers, when they talk about Bluetooth support on IP phones, they are generally only going to be talking about this option right here, number three, um, pairing Bluetooth headsets with the phone. And as you can see, we go two steps above and beyond that. We support data exchange between mobile phones and the GXP2100 series when the phones are paired with these devices through Bluetooth, exchange of phone books, calendars, et cetera. Um, works on iPhone and Android phones, and I believe it would, it, I haven't personally tested with Windows Phone, but I imagine it would work with Windows Phone as long as Bluetooth is uh, supported. Um, and so in, in addition to uh, support exchanging data, also the ability, as I talked about earlier, to transfer calls back and forth from mobile phones with Bluetooth to and from the 2100 series phones. Um, you know, get a call, if you pair them up, call comes into one, it'll ring on both devices, you can pick, you can choose where to pick it up, and then you can then transfer it later on back to the other phone for whatever reason. Uh, so again, some cool Bluetooth functionality there, obviously we talked about the headsets. Um, one thing that we like to mention, and this kind of will bring me into something we're going to talk about, uh, another new product in just a second here. Our UCM series of IP PBXs um, has a feature that you see on the first bullet point there. We call it auto discovery and zero config. Um, this is a feature that we have built into our UCM series of PBXs, the whole line, the 6100 series, the 6200 series, and the 6510, um, which basically just allows you to set up, or to, so I'll explain what it does, it's probably easier. You plug your UCM PBX, it's a fully functional Unified Communications IP PBX offers you uh, a whole suite of voice video data and mobility features. It's not just a traditional voice PBX. It really can serve as you know, the anchor to any unified communications network. But um, in terms of Grandstream devices, uh, the auto discovery zero config feature, you just plug the UCM into the same network as your, the phones you're looking to configure it with. Um, and then the device, the UCM will auto discover those devices. It will populate on a screen within the interface. And then you can allow the device to basic zero config is what we call, or basically allow the UCM to configure the devices for you. You can set a range, extension ranges. You can not set extension ranges. You can obviously go through and do it manually, or you can kind of give it, um, allow it to do whatever it wants, or you can give it, you know, ranges of extensions and, and whatnot. Um, you know, so that's a great feature that our UCM series offers. It allows you to set up our phones and any Grandstream device very quickly and easily. Great for big deployments. Um, this feature is only supported by Grandstream products. Um, our IP PBX supports any uh, SIP or IP endpoint, so I'm not saying that our IP PBX doesn't support other IP phones or other IP cameras or vice versa. It does. The auto discovery zero config feature is just optimized and built for Grandstream devices. Um, 
Our G and so a couple of the other bullet points you see here when using our GXP or any of our IP phones with our own UCM series of PBXs, you get a couple of extra features that we're able to offer, obviously, because we, in that case, make both ends of the, you know, the grant, Grantstream makes both ends of the spectrum with the PBX and the phone. So we're able to extend features such as one-touch call recording when using our UCM series to our GXP IP phones. Um, pretty much, actually, the rest of the features that you see there are uh, standard across uh, no matter what IP phone that you're using or other IP device that you're using. Uh, the two that I really wanted to highlight are the two on the top, the Auto Discovery Zero Config of Grandstream devices with our UCM series, which is able to offer one-touch call recording. We obviously support call recording on any IP phone, any IP device, but with Grandstream devices, you get that one-touch call recording. You just press button on the phone to start and stop the recording. Um, so I'm dragging on a little bit here. I'll just begin to move a little bit faster as we have about five, ten minutes here remaining. Um, in terms of auto provisioning, this goes across all of our IP phones, so we always just like to mention it. It just talks about zero config. Uh, we offer a GS manager tool, which is something that even I wasn't all that familiar with until recently. Um, this is a free tool that you can go to our website. It's a Windows-based mass provisioning tool. Um, for any PC or Windows-based PC or, uh, you know, uh, laptop, you can go to the tool section of our website to download GS Manager and to get more information on it. Basically, it just allows you to create config tools and send them out and, and manage the devices very easily from one central platform without having to go into a user interface. Uh, we also support TRO69 XML configuration files as well. Um, in terms of firmware updates, you know, pretty standard across uh, most of what everyone else is doing in the industry. Firmware upgrades via TFTP, HTTPS, and HTTP. Um, you can also manually upgrade um, any Grandstream phone at any time by just going to um, either the keypad menu or the web user interface to do just an upgrade on that specific device. Uh, screen customization, uh, you know, again, always just like to mention this. This is um, on these GXP2100 series phones. We offer a couple of great ways that allow you to customize the screen of the phone. You know, a lot of businesses like to deploy these phones with their logo or something similar as the background on all their devices. You can easily do that a couple of different ways. Um, obviously, you can do it through XML applications, which you see here. Um, we also give you the ability to simply just add, upload an image, I believe, through the web user interface um, to make, or even, I believe, also uh, do upload it directly to the phone to make it the home screen of your phone. There's the wall kit paper customization. These used to be on two slides, or on the same slide, which is why I got confused. And so here you can see you can upload any photo, company logo, background image, in addition to using XML apps to be the background or the customizable content on the screen. Um, for more information on these phones, you can check out our website. You'll find, I mean, for any product, but specifically for these since we're talking about it, full product specs, data sheets, user manuals, quick installation guide, IoT guides, a whole list, a whole you know host of great content. Go to grandstream.com um, and look for the product pages for these devices, which will be under products and enterprise IP phones. All right, so to wrap up the webinar in the next five, six minutes here, I'm going to tell you about four of four products that have been released. Uh, you know, the 6200 series is actually pretty much a brand new release. The other devices that you see here were launched over the summer, but I'd like to do a little bit of refresher on them. Um, you know, I've, obviously everyone's really busy in the summer, vacation, et cetera, so we like to just kind of do a quick little refresher to, to let you know what you may have missed. So let's start with the 6200 series. Uh, I just talked about our UCM 60, you know, our UCM series of PBXs. Um, started with the UCM 6100 series, which has been out on the market for over three years. Um, frankly, it has become one of the most popular and best-selling on-premise IP PBXs on the market. Um, there's a lot of great features and a lot of great functionalities that it offers full voice video data and mobility support, a lot of features within those you know, areas. I could frankly go on for hours talking about all the features this device offers. And one, of the best, one of the best aspects of our UCM series is that they do not require any licensing fees. You get the full, full access to the full platform, all features, all functionality up front for just the purchase price. 
And the, what might be the best aspect of our UCM series is that we are constantly adding features and functionalities. And these features and functionalities are always free. They're just done through firmware updates. You can decide to update if you want. You can stick to older firmware. It's entirely up to you. So the 6200 series, basically, what you see here, it's three different models. It basically just carries on the legacy of our 6100 series. Uh, the 6100 series really uh, was made for small to medium-sized businesses, supports up to 500 users, um, and that device would support, I believe off the top of my head, up to 60 concurrent calls. Um, and again, the best features of it is, you know, the, the voice, video, data, and mobility functionality. It's a true unified communications manager, which is where actually the UCM acronym came from. Um, so the 6200 series is basically just a new version of the 6100 series. Um, as you can see, um, basically it's going to give us the ability going forward to, within the next, you know, within the year or years, give us the ability to add more features and functionality to this device. Um, one thing that I should mention, it's always important to mention, the 6100 series is still supported, will always be supported. The firm, I believe the firmware that we will release for the 6200 series going forward will also be available for the 6100 series. So the 6100 series isn't going away. We're not going to stop supporting it. It is still, you know, you're still going to be able to do everything that you want with it. This is kind of just the new, the new hardware version, the new spin-off of it. Um, the UCM 6200 series, which will in the future allow us to add more features and functionalities. Um, if you are looking for a little bit of an upgrade on a UCM device um, in terms of small to medium sized businesses, check out the UCM 6208. Um, where our 6100 series had four different models, this model or this series has three different models. The easy way to tell is the last number in the model name is the amount of FXO ports it has. The two devices on the left will support up to 500 users and the 6208, a little bit of extra capacity to support up to 800 users and up to 100 concurrent calls. I probably should have just showed you this slide instead of the last slide, but just to, you know, for those of you that might be familiar with the 6100 series, this kind of just shows you the difference. Again, it's really just kind of a new, new spin-off, a new model of it. Um, same features, same functionality, except for the 8FXO port version. Um, we've added a couple of a couple of uh, you know great features to the 6200 series. Kind of see them in the bottom right there. All the models now have a DHCP DHCP server built in to make your deployments quicker and easier, signing IP addresses quicker and easier. And all three devices now also support the switched dual network or router mode. Whereas previously, as you can see on the left, the 6102 was the only one that supported that. So again, just the kind of the you know the new uh, UCM SMB model from Grandstream is the 6200 series. Um, 6100 series will always be supported. We will still put out new firmware upgrades for it, um, and many and you know it'll still be available through distribution. All right, so going to wrap up here. Three products that are more a little bit simpler that I can fly through here. I apologize, going on a little bit longer than I had planned. Um, but so we'll start with the HT802 here. This is, for those of you that might not be all that familiar with us or that don't, you know, follow us on the ATA side of things, Grandstream is the world leader in analog telephone adapters, believe it or not. Um, we are the, we manufacture more ATAs than anyone else in the world and we have more, um, more deals and more uh, agreements with service providers throughout the world that use and deploy our ATAs. Um, on a daily basis, we do tens of millions of these devices a year all throughout the world with some of the biggest service providers anywhere in the world. And if you want more information on that, talk to me specifically, um, you know, approach me privately and we can talk more about that. Um, so the HT802, you're going to see soon, we're going to announce an HT812 and an HT814. Or HT814. Um, the 802 is the first model of the new ATAs. The first thing that really stands out, again, just by looking at it, it's got a completely revamped design. Uh, that's actually pretty much the biggest advantage of the HT802 um, is the new design, which you can see here. Um, not only is it easier to look at the device and figure out what's going on, but you can, you know, color-corded ports on the back. Oh, obviously, a lot of these devices are being used by people who are not super technologically savvy, 
Um, so these, you know, this more friendly user interface of just interacting with the device, figuring out what's going on and installing it just makes the 802, um, you know, a great option, very easy to install, um, got a really sleek little look to it. Um, to give you a heads up, the 8, uh, let me go back here, the 812 and the 814 when they come out, the main difference with those devices is that they will support gigabit ports, gigabit speeds, whereas the 802 that you see here supports your standard 10, 100 megabit per second ports. Um, and I can actually tell you that the 802 was certified or was validated by Broadsoft last week. You should see an announcement coming up soon about that. Um, our new deck phones. This is something that, you know, I think this was probably covered in a previous webinar. I can go through it super fast. This is something that people have been, frankly, waiting for a while for us. And we are really excited to bring these great new, new redesigned, sleek looking cordless IP phones to the market. Um, it's a comprehensive update of our own, of our old series of deck phones. Um, these devices, you now have a separate base station and separate handset, where previously the base station was actually within um, one of the handsets itself. Now it's a separate device, allows you to place that anywhere within an office, home, whatnot, centrally located so that you can, you know, the wireless range can reach all the deck phones that you're looking to set up. Each um, DP750, which is the base station, can support up to five handsets and each handset, or excuse me, up to five handsets and 10 SIP accounts. Um, so basically you can have, um, excuse me, you can have up to, you can have a different SIP account on each handset. You can have, I believe actually, um, all 10 SIP, actually yes, you can have all 10 SIP accounts on each handset. Gives you a lot of great options in terms of, you know, features like ring group and hunt group, which gives you the ability, maybe I have a slide about that. Um, no, I don't. Um, but Features like ring group, hunk group, the ability to, you know, have an incoming call to the deck system ring on all phones at the same time, go through a methodical order, uh, et cetera. It will make sure basically that you, your sales team, or you at home, or, you know, your team at work, that basically that everybody will always hear a phone ring and will be able to pick up the call. Uh, the main updates aside from that, splitting the, the handset and the base station, uh, the device supports HD audio now. Uh, previous one did not support HD audio through the speakerphone and through obviously um, the speaker on and receiver on the handset. It's a full color screen operating system. It's not a monochrome or black and white. Um, it is a full color screen operating system. And this device has a 3.5 millimeter headset jack right on the phone. Uh, right on the handset itself, our previous deck phones actually did not have that um, 3.5 millimeter headset port. Um, anything else that we didn't talk here? It comes with a bell clip, easy to carry it around. Um, it's actually charged via a micro USB port. And we'll ob you will obviously get, you know, we will ship a, um, you know, power supply to charge the device using um, the cradle that you see here. But if you have a micro USB port that you use for anything else or any other devices, those can also be used to charge um, the DP720 handset. Multiple SIP accounts, we talked about this earlier. Again, you can get up to five handsets, as you see here, per base station. Um, 10 SIP accounts, which can be applied, you know, as I said, each one of those SIP accounts can be loaded on each one of the five handsets. They can be mix and match. It's pretty much entirely up to you. Um, and the one thing that I'll tease now is that within the next couple of months, we are working on a decked um, repeater, which will allow you to basically roam from one base station to the other. And keep an eye out for more information on that over the coming months. You should see it'll probably hit our beta club within the next couple of months, and then you can get more information about it there. All right, so the last product, um, and this is really fast to go through because it's frankly a pretty simple phone. The last new product we're going to talk about is our GXP1615. Um, so basically what this phone is, is we, we previously had our GXP1610, which was a basic one-line phone um, which did not have power over Ethernet. Um, a lot of, a lot of our, main, a lot of our you know, distributors, we've gotten a lot of feedback basically. Um, that there's, and we've seen that there's a lot of room in the marketplace for a very simple one-line IP phone that has PoE, and so that's what the 1615 is. It's a simple one-line IP phone 
Um, that has built-in power over Ethernet, whereas the 1610 does not. Um, also will support EHS, RG9 headsets, whatnot. Um, your standard 10 100 megabit per second ports. Um, you know, frankly, from what I see, the biggest use of these, you know, simple one or two line IP phones, we do a lot of business with these in hotels. We do actually a lot of business with them in larger office complexes or enterprises that, you know, need to put a phone in every public lobby or in, you know, security offices around. Um, that's great uses for these, obviously also for, you know, for simple desk users or if you're looking to get cost effective um, VoIP access at home or in your office. And this device is fully certified with both Broadsoft and Metaswitch. So that is the 1615. Um, yeah, you can see pretty much as the same keypad placement, same function as the other Grandstream GXP 1600. Uh, which are more our basic IP phones, the GXP1600 series. All right, so with that, that pretty much wraps up uh, the content of today's webinar. Took you through uh, six of our new products, um, three GXP IP phones, UCM, our new UCM IP PBX, our new deck phones, and our new uh, two port or our, our new two port analog telephone adapter, the HD802. Um, so yeah, that pretty much wraps up my part of the presentation. If anyone has any questions, uh, feel free to type them over to us through the chat and we'll get you any answers. Thank you, Phil, very much for that wonderful presentation. And it looks like we do have some questions. I've got the box here. I'm going to read off uh, some questions for you. Sure. Let's see. Um, first one is, um, does Grandstream plan on offering another course in California anytime soon? <laughs> I'm sure we will, um, and frankly, you might even be able to, you might know be that better than I do. I know that recently we've been, we've done a couple of trainings with you guys, with Microcom out in California, and to my, everything I've heard, they've done great, so I would imagine we're going to be looking to do uh, more very soon. You're, you're absolutely right. We will, we will plan something. Um, let's see, we have another question here. Um, are there other companies who can set up a Grandstream certification, for example, in New York? Um, so I guess the answer would be yes and no. Um, you know, uh, like, you know, I don't, don't want to get too far into it, but, um, you know, a lot of our distributors will run their own trainings, most of the trainings. Uh, like the one we did with you guys will generally be run by one of our own engineers. Um, so there are definitely other options out there if you're out here on the East Coast. Um, if you're actually in New York specifically, we are running uh, some trainings here in our Boston headquarters. We have a training center here in our headquarters um, that we're running some trainings at at the end of September. Um, but the best thing to do is to just check the training section of our website under events for all upcoming or future trainings. Great, thank you. I uh, got another question. Can you um, briefly explain um, what are concurrent calls and conference bridge calls? Sure. Um, so the conference, the concurrent calls is just the amount of you know ongoing calls that any registered SIP endpoint can can basically cumulatively make at the same time. So you know if you have I'm just making this up off the top of my head. If you have 100 phones and the UCM you're using supports uh, 40 concurrent calls, I think 45 concurrent calls, that means of the 100 users, you can have 45 SIP calls going on at the same time. Um, in terms of the conference bridges, that is actually completely separate. It's technologically a little bit different, where the conference bridge is basically something within the UCM that's able to host um, all of the call or you know a conference with up to um, I believe uh, either 32 or with our higher end devices, I believe up to 62 calls. Um, and be, so I think they, probably the question is, would the conference bridge uh, basically um, counteract the concurrent calls? And the answer is no, actually. Um, the, the way that the conference bridge works, it basically will set up the conference call, no matter how many attendees you have in it, as one call, so it will not affect the other concurrent calls that you have going on at that time. 
Great, thank you. A couple more questions. Um, can you tell us um, what is Grandstream's closest competitor and um, maybe a little bit about why Grandstream would be preferred? Interesting question. Um, so as I touched on earlier, I, I believe that there are actually, you know, on a, on a straight up competition level, we are one of the only companies, maybe Cisco being the other Polycom, Avaya, um, being the others that are able to provide a full solution of products, not just IP phones, not just IP PBXs or gateways and ATAs, but also surveillance and video conferencing and whatnot. So in that case, there's actually very few um, companies we, we compete with. I would say that we probably, probably the answer to your question is that within each of the product ca categories that we have, we compete with different companies. Certainly um, in terms of, you know, IP phones, which is what we mainly talked about here today, um, you can get into, you know, Yealink is the one that we're constantly compared with and the ones that we constantly come across um, in the market. And I would, what I would say in specifically in comparison to Yealink is if you look at our devices, um, we're going to be able to offer you pretty much all the same features and functionalities and in many cases even more. Like to my knowledge, they don't support Bluetooth the way that we do um, for just one example. So we'll offer more features, more functionality, and we'll actually usually come in at a lower price point than them. Um, in terms of our video phones, we make those Android video phones, Open Android, which I know they're developing one, but there's really no other company in the world that is able to offer the Open Android, um, the Open Android video phones that we have. Obviously, our full video conferencing plat uh, portfolio, the GVC3200 series, and our GAC devices run Android, which pretty much nothing else in the industry. Uh, no other major devices in the industry runs, and basically it just makes them very easy to use. Um, they can interact with Android apps. They can interact with SIP, with you know pretty much any SIP platform as well. Um, so that was kind of a long-winded answer to your question, probably. But I would say that you know we definitely compete with different companies in each one of the product categories that we're in. There's very few companies we'll compete with in all of them. Um, you know, Yealink is the one we run across the most on the IP phones, and as I said, I think you compare our devices, you're going to find that we're going to offer you more features, more functionality at a lower price. We also offer, you know, uh, you know, to take it a step beyond the device itself. Um, I believe that our support options and our customer service options are much more comprehensive than what you get with them. We, you know, our reseller connect portal, our online support ticket system. Um, or the, on the chat that we have on our website. Um, I'm sure that there are the gaps, which is an automated provisioning service that we offer for our phones. I'm sure there are other things that I'm forgetting. So it's not just, you know, the features and functionality of the device, but it's, you know, the interaction with the company and the back end support after you support after you buy the devices. And I apologize, that was a long answer. No problem at all, Phil. Thank you so very much for answering those questions. And also thank you to everyone for attending today. And if there are more questions in the future, please feel free to contact your sales rep or email us at sales at microcomdeck.tech.com. And if you want to view any of these products mentioned and shown today, please visit us at www.microcomtech.us or contact your sales rep. And remember, this webinar presentation was recorded and will be uploaded to our Microcom YouTube channel. So if you would like to reference it again, you can certainly view it again on YouTube. Thank you, Phil, so much for all of your information and answering all of those questions. We enjoyed it very much. And everybody, have a great day.